What's a very disturbing fact almost nobody knows? A single tiger healed 434 people in India. 434 people fell for hot single in your area. Organophosphates, including the chemical weapon sarin gas, work by inhibiting your muscles' ability to relax. Your muscles basically constrict and can't unconstrict, causing what feels like a muscle cramp through your entire body, your arms, your chest, your eyes, your tongue, everything. It most frequently heals via asphyxiation, because you can't exhale. Surviving means a permanent, a recoverable loss of motor function, even with rapid medical treatment. Yeah, I'd say that counts as disturbing. Due to fresh drinking water being so scarce on the Galapagos Islands, some bird species, such as the Galapagos hawk, have adapted by drinking the blood of other animals. The original gator ate. According to the FBI, over 40% of murders go unsolved. Meaning if you get hilled, there's a pretty good chance the person who hilled you will not spend a day in jail. Bad news for you. Good news for me. A toddler's adult teeth are right below their eyes. I just looked up a picture of a toddler's skull and all I gotta say is what the actual fuck. The Romans used to torture people by having goats lick their feet. Goats like salt so they would soak their feet in salt water. Eventually the goat's tongue was rough enough that the skin would wear away. Then you'd have a wound with salt trickling in. At first I thought you meant that they would soak the goat's feet in salt water. One of the first symptoms of heart disease can be sudden death. It's funny. Because it can also be one of the last symptoms. The dolphin who played flipper committed suicide. Unlike Jeff Epstein. There are eight nukes that are missing all around the world. Oh that's actually not all of them. According to this there's a grand total of asterisk asterisk 51 asterisk asterisk nuclear weapons lost in the world. 40 Russian. 11 American. One of them is apparently half a mile off the coast of Georgia. And the city of Savannah is within its blast radius. Removed. Deleted. A vitamin D deficiency can make you suicidal. And deficiencies among adults is very common. Like more than 50% of the population in the US. My vitamin D number was single digit when I went to see my doctor because I felt depressed. I now take a big weekly dose along with diet change and sunlight to feel normal. If I hadn't gone to the doctor when I did I might not have been able to face another winter. Mine too. My doctor was shocked and said it was the lowest he'd ever seen. It's crazy how much it makes a difference mentally. Approximately 2,100 children are reported missing every day in the US. Or one every 41 seconds. On the bright side, most will be returned unharmed. On the bleak side, the survival rate asterisk asterisk very asterisk asterisk rapidly declines over time. On the even bleaker side, in the cases of missing young adult men in the US, there's fair chance a missing individual will be ruled deceased after a rather short search with minimal evidence. Even if no body is found, generally it's labeled as deceased due to natural causes, i.e. drowning in any nearby source of water, getting lost in any nearby woods just getting lost anywhere and dying. After which the search is completely abandoned. Yeah, the whole 48 hours rule is pretty disturbing. Mission goes from rescue to recovery terrifyingly quickly. Even though abduction is top of the heap for bad scenarios, it surprises a lot of people that a good portion of those missing kids are special needs children that literally just wandered off into the world. And as you said die somewhere alone. I can see why parents look into locators and other ways to keep tabs on their kids' location. When a woman with breast implants is cremated, the implants will melt into goo. It drips to the bottom of the furnace and needs to be cleaned up once cooled. I wonder now, what happens to metal rod implants, pacemakers, etc.? In 1977, the average life expectancy in Cambodia was 18.91 years. That's because the Khmer Rouge hilled anyone who wore glasses. Because that meant they knew how to read and therefore were a bad intellectual. At any moment a nearby star could possibly become a gamma ray burster. And point a jet of radiation at the earth that would vaporize us instantly. Math says a gamma ray burster located 100 light years away that aimed at us directly would generate the energy of 100 Hiroshima gomes per square mile across the entire exposed surface of the earth. 
Anything caught in this blast directly would be vaporized instantly. It would also instantly boil the oceans and rip the atmosphere off the planet. It would end all life and leave the Earth a charred cinder in space. And it is 100% impossible to see one coming. Since it's moving at the speed of light because gamma rays are light. I'd be okay with that. I think. You never see it coming and it only lasts a fraction of a second. There are far worse ways to go. I'd rather not know and just be gone. No terror. No pain. No frantic calls trying to tell all of your loved ones anything. No leaving behind pets that will die without you. In the grand scheme of things. It doesn't seem too bad. I feel bad for the half of the planet not facing the burst since they'll probably experience a much worse death. In child porn cases. Someone has to actually watch the video beginning to end so they can testify about it in court to seal a conviction. A friend of mine works for the federal government and his job each day is to watch child pornography so that they can prove that the person was in fact creating or distributing child porn. It's a ducked up job. On average, approximately 30 people die in the US annually in elevator-related incidents. This is my worst nightmare. Encephalitis lethargica causes you to slowly survive but not live. After bouts of deep sleep. Where patients can be woken very easily but fall immediately back into the deep sleep. They're left with post-encephalitis symptoms. The main one being that their minds are fully aware and conscious. But they can't physically function, a bit like locked-in syndrome. And they display extreme apathy. They even know they're displaying apathy but can't express any emotions. So they're completely stuck, until someone throws a ball at them. Which they then can immediately catch. OR until someone holds their hand and walks alongside them. Then they can suddenly walk. Otherwise nothing. So so bizarre. Edit, typo. Edit 2, I've never seen it. But based on the comments this is definitely what the film Awakenings is based on. Peas. Wow didn't expect this to blow up. Thanks so much. You are more likely to die on your way to buy a lottery ticket than you are to win the lottery. So this means there are more people who died on their way to buy a lottery ticket. Than people who have won the lottery? Whoa that's crazy. You probably aren't wrong but the poster's fact doesn't support that conclusion. It just means if you went out right now to get a ticket. You're more likely to die en route than to buy the winning ticket not that the number of people who died en route to get a ticket is higher than the number of winners. It's pedantic but important. Edit, holy crap I should have known you never argue pedantics on the internet. Non-avian dinosaurs did not go extinct immediately at the asteroid strike. There would have been a period when the survivors kept on. Slowly declining in number. Starving to death before being able to mate and produce offspring. Owls can't be choked. Which means that someone had to try and choke an owl on more than one occasion and fail. And yes. Harder. My local Benihana removed their glory hole and everybody I've talked to about it is pretending that it never existed. The weirdest part is that the next closest Benihana still has their glory hole so it's clearly not a corporate decision. There is so much WTF in this statement I don't even know where to start. I love that you say, the next closest Benihana still has their glory hole, as the one, it's natural to expect more than one ducking Benihana in a metropolitan area. And two, glory holes are just a thing Benihanas have. Bayer, the pharmaceutical company, used to be called IG Farben, and were the ones who produced the Zyklon B chemical the Nord C used in the gas chambers of the concentration camps. Related, Monsanto, the GMO company, used to produce Agent Orange during the Vietnam War. Disclaimer, I support the use of GMOs. I've said it on here before but it still disturbs me to think about. Mora eels have a second set of jaws and teeth inside their throat. They latch on to prey with their primary jaws and then the second set can move forward and either latch on and pull the prey down their throat or eat away at larger prey without having to let go. Creepy as duck. Bed bugs have a needle for a big dig and stew at the female since females don't have a hole. Imagine getting stabbed during sex. You mean without having to pay extra? There's over 200 dead bodies on Mount Everest and they're used as waypoints for other climbers. I'd say the amount of trash people leave there is also pretty scary. If you get bitten by a human, you absolutely have to go to the hospital right away because the amount of deadly bacteria in any given person's mouth could actually heal you if it enters your bloodstream. 
If a human bites your dog be careful, every full moon he will put on clothes. Try to barbecue. And complain about taxes. I think it might be a decently common fact but it disturbs me so much that I'm gonna say it anyway, less than 5% of the ocean has been explored by humans. Greater than less than 5% of the ocean has been explored by humans. I would guess that the 95% remaining is likely to be water too. There are strains of CRE bacteria that are resistant to all known antibiotics. That there's people out there who get aroused by the thought of being or actually being furniture. Proceeds to cosplay a ducking wardrobe. I'm late but the average adult male has a biting force high enough to rip someone's throat out with their teeth. Found Rick Grimes. There are people out there now being held captive somewhere. Whether it's for six, ransom, or simply because their captor is batshit crazy. As recently as the early 1800s, people ate parts of corpses, believing them to have medicinal properties. Blood, power ground up from the human skull, and human fat were all thought to be cures for various ailments. Arguably, it still goes on today, with the practice of consuming placenta for its dubious health benefits. If you were to put the entire lifespan of the universe, from the Big Bang to the final heat death, onto a 24-hour clock, at the universe's current age est, 13.8 billion years we would not have reached the end of the first 30 seconds. If you were to go into the far future, past the point where there are no more solar systems the planets have either been destroyed or become rogue planets. Where there are no more galaxies everything either being swallowed up by black holes or being ejected from the galaxy. No more anything of normal matter due to proton decay. And no more black holes due to Hawking radiation. Even here at this point, you would not have reached 12 o'clock noon on our universe clock. The universe will spend most of its life as a dark, cold, empty void. You would be unlikely to find a single surviving subatomic particle in an area the size of the current observable universe est. 98 billion light years across until the background temperature reaches minus 460 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 273 degrees Celsius, zero Kelvin. At which point entropy wins. Time becomes meaningless and the universe remains in a cold, dead state for all eternity. Edit, wow, never thought my existential dread-inducing rambling would earn gold. Thank you kind stranger. Tens of thousands of people in America were forcibly sterilized by the government as recent as 1981. There is a type of mushroom that can grow on small bugs and control them. 